Hey Scott here. Today I want to show you a video of how I stopped the surge on a Kohler engine, a Kohler Courage engine. And what I'm adjusting in this uh, on this carburetor is not the jet. This uh, carburetor has a non-adjustable jet, so that's not going to be able to uh, help us out here. But what I am working on is the low idle adjustment screw. So check it out, and uh, remember we're working on the low idle adjustment screw. Thanks. So today what I want to talk about and show you uh, is this Kohler Courage 18 engine. Very common engine. Um, they say it takes courage to own a Kohler Courage. Uh, not exactly the most dependable engines, but they're in a lot of equipment. So looking at this Toro lawn tractor, and um, this, uh, this engine likes to just surge like crazy. So let me fire it up and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so you get the picture. Now, this particular carburetor, I've learned, doesn't seem to have a jet like some other carburetors. And I've checked the fuel cap and the vent there. That's not clogged. The fuel line, the fuel filter, uh, the air filter, all of that stuff is in good shape. I cleaned up this carburetor really well and... Uh, put it all back together, put it back on the machine, and then uh, it still surged. So I did find a solution, I believe, to this problem. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's get this camera closer. All right, right here, oh, can't see it. That thing sticking out right there okay that's like a a needle to control fuel flow and uh, this particular carb had a limiter cap on there and I, I when I cleaned the carburetor I removed that limiter cap and uh, now let me show you what I'm going to do I'm going to turn that counterclockwise to open that screw up a little bit and you'll be able to hear the difference in the way the engine runs so let me do that for you all right, just to be able to get to it a little better, I'm going to take the air filter off. <laughs> now, there is a, um, a slot on the end there for a small screwdriver, but I got a heat shield here in front of the muffler, so I'm not going to be able to get at that unless I take that off, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to take my pliers like so, and I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to turn it clockwise until the engine starts sounding better.
right, so there we go. I just continued to turn that screw out until the engine started sounding better. And I was actually watching, see if I can get this inside, inside here, there's a rod that's actually the linkage uh, for the governor. And when this first started surging, you could just see that rod surging back and forth and back and forth as the engine was surging. And I kept an eye on that as well. And uh, the last couple of turns of that screw, that rod was not, that linkage rod was not uh, rocking back and forth. So only time will tell if, if that was a, a, a fix that is going <laughs> to, uh, you know, work. But right now it sounds good. And uh, this uh, lawn tractor is actually going away for the winter. So I'll uh, have my neighbor come and get it because it belongs to him. So, all right. So I just want to tack on the end here. Here is an aftermarket carb of the same kind for that Kohler Courage engine. And it's pretty, pretty near identical, except that on this side right here is... Normally that needle that I just adjusted on the tractor. And um, I don't know if this is adjustable. I can't remember. But just for the heck of it, let's turn this out here. And show you what's going on inside. A lot of threads on there. Okay, so there it is. It's a needle. And uh, this, this is what's being adjusted inside to stop that surging that I had going on. Kind of open it up to a little, some more gas flow, get into it. So, so I hope, uh, I hope you learned something from this video. I know I learned something uh, since I couldn't find any other information on the internet about how to stop the surge on this particular Kohler engine. So a lot of the other engines have, if you take this off, inside there's a, a jet that you can unscrew and put a jet with a larger hole in it or just make sure it's cleaned out. This does not have a jet like that. So, all right, thanks for watching.